I'm Ronald Jr. and you're watching Guitar Buzz. This is the show where we stir the pot, talk about guitars, and get straight to the point. We are budget in mind. And today we're going to be talking about the 2018 budget guitar. The best 2018 budget guitar. And a lot of you guys can probably guess this if you've been following this channel. And then after we get through all that stuff, we're going to be talking about some uh, the best place to buy kits, in my opinion. Kit guitars to build in 2018 and I'm going to talk about the worst guitar that you could buy in 2018 budget wise so let's get and get right into it we'll give me a sip of coffee I'm just going to get straight to the point here the the, the best budget guitar in 2018 um, would have to be can I get a drum roll can I get an applaud the Firefly 335 inspired guitar. I have not changed anything on this guitar. It is still the same. Um, the only thing that I did change was the bridge. It has a goto bridge. It's, got, it's a lot wider and you can adjust the intonation a little bit more. Um, but there's nothing wrong when you get it. There's I just don't like the bridge with the retaining wire. This guitar, when you get it, is absolutely for $140 shipped to your door is awesome. You get an awesome guitar cable. Go back and watch the review and you get awesome picks with it. And also, you get an awesome setup. The nut height isn't like a skyscraper in New York. Um, the tuners are kind of wonky, but they do. They do just fine. Um, the finish is amazing. The pickups sound great for what they are. Everything is fine. It has a Korean made switch instead of a box switch. It does have mini pots, but it is set up. Uh, whoever builds these guitars, whoever puts them together, they spend time where it matters the most on a budget guitar. Now the finish is beautiful. This finish on this guitar is unreal for a budget guitar. It is unreal. This thing sounds good. The frets are good. It has fake uh, rosewood it is I think baked maple doesn't say on the website what it is um, and you can't beat it for 140 bucks you cannot buy Harley Benton for this this type guitar you cannot buy an Os Oscar Smith for this uh, price this beats the competition right now this I mean everybody's buying these they're on Amazon right now they probably won't be by the time that you watch this video they're already out of red I mean, they're, they're, they're selling out like hotcakes, and it says num best, uh, or however they sell, best seller on Amazon. And people are not disappointed. Um, people are not dis disappointed on this guitar. So the, this is the best budget guitar of 2018. Now, if you go back and watch my other show about uh, Firefly guitars in 2019, go watch that video. I have some leaked photos of the new guitar they're coming out with this year. And they're going to be coming out with single cuts. Now, if they keep that price range with this quality, they will have my business. So, this guitar, I mean, stays in tune. It does great. I mean, why change it if, it, if it's decent? Sounds really good. Can't beat it for what it is. And I'm in love. And for 140 bucks, you might as well go buy you one. It ships to your door. It ships fairly fast. It ships fairly fast. Comes packaged, you know, in a double box. It, it's it's amazing. So go buy one for yourself and, and and try it out. And if you don't like the pickups, that guitar right there is worth putting the money in. That guitar is worth actually putting money into to have a really nice guitar. But I've used that guitar live already. I, I play it, beat on it, does just fine. The second guitar. Budget guitar that I liked of 2018 is the J Trouser guitar. But there's some things that I've done to this guitar that will make some people mad and uh, probably send them in a fit rage. Um, I did relic it a little bit to give it some nice looks. I took the lipstick pickup out, put a P90 in, changed the bridge pickup, changed all the wiring, and and I changed the neck, but this is the neck that I like. I like a maple neck on a telly, right? Um, and, it, and it plays really good. The, the neck peel is the same. It, it's the same dimensions and everything. The neck's the same exact thing, um, you know, that I got this neck off of. It's the same exact neck that was on it. Um, this guitar is heavy. 
This is not a light piece of junk guitar. You get this for 160 bucks. This is not light junk. This is a heavy telly guitar made out of real wood. It's not made out of plywood. Um, I put the maple neck on, and this is a great guitar to invest money in. And that's what I did. I invested money in it. I love it, and I can't put it down. It is a string through design. I got a, I got a review and stuff on my channel. Go check it out. Um, that's the second best guitar in 20. Uh, 18 um, here's the neck off of it really really nice neck it does have a bone nut. I took the bone nut off um, really really nice neck it has a satin finish really smooth the play wide it's it's pretty wide this guitar next guitar neck is wide but it doesn't feel as flat as this one this one's super flat um, and it has the shiny front and this has your cheap tuners um, and it has all that stuff on it. But the only thing I didn't like about it is how cheap it looked. Um, that was the downfall. The the Firefly guitar they made the it made they made the, the fretboard look like rosewood. It it fooled me for a minute. That's how good they did. This one you can tell it's fake. It just it just looks like it looks like chocolate veins running through. It's just doesn't look very good. It, it just you can tell it's cheap and I did not like it and it, it bugged me. And it's super rough after I got to play it and touch it. And I really don't like it. And the frets are, they're hard, but they're not hard. These are the softest frets that I've ever touched. And I have a video coming up on that about cheap guitars and the frets that they use. But uh, I did do away with the neck. And that guitar plays awesome. It's set up the way I like it. And uh, and yeah, that, that was the two best guitars that I bought this year. Let's talk about the worst guitar that I bought this year, or last year, 2018. And that would have to be the Sawtooth guitar, the Sawtooth Tele. You guys seen the review? It, it's a decent guitar, but it's not. It's not something you're going to put money into. I'm going to tell you right now. Do not buy the Sawtooth uh, budget guitars, like the, the hundred and forty some dollars, something like that. Do not buy those guitars. The body is made out of popular or po popular, popular, and it's junk. Uh, the guitar is super light. It's it. It's just. It's not that good of a body. Um, that the hardware is really cheap. It, it's not full thickness. This this telly is full thickness. I put a full sized uh, telly switch in there. It doesn't have that cheap um, board switch in there. But that guitar you can't because it's not thick enough, and you can't round it out anymore because you won't have any wood to round out. You route through the other side, and that was a bummer. Um, so I, I don't really like that guitar just the way it was just how it was built and, and, and the design of it and the craftsmanship it went into it I didn't really like it and the other budget guitar this this is not even a budget guitar but when it comes to the starter world the, the best choice guitars I did a review on it like the, the best choice uh, review you can go back on my channel watch it that was the most horrible guitar that was horrible that I mean I don't even, that guitar the craftsmanship on that learner's guitar was junk. Um, I bought a $60 eBay guitar and it was better shape. Go back and check that review. I, I don't, the two guitars I don't recommend, if you're looking for budget guitars, a budget guitar, do not buy the Sawtooth Telecaster off of Amazon. I think it's like 140, sometimes 160. And do not buy the best choice learner guitars uh, if you're learning how to play guitar. Th those are the worst two of 2018. I'm sure I could have picked some different ones, but I'm just picking the ones that I hate the most. And let's talk about the Squire Infinities, right? They, they're great guitars. They make Telecasters and uh, they make Strat style guitars. Really, really nice guitars. They're, at, right now, they're at the top of their game. They're actually a lot better than they used to be. Um, believe it or not. But here's the problem that I have with mine. I noticed the action was kind of raising up. And I noticed it kept going out of tune. And I was like, what is wrong with this thing? So I'd tune it and tune it and tune it. And then I'd tune it and I'd tune it and I'd tune it. I'm like, this never done that before. And all of a sudden, this busted out. Okay, it was it was lifting up. It was just lifting up. And it just, it, it's, I don't even know what this wood is. As you can see, it's a, it's a three-piece body. But I love the way it looked. I love this guitar. I mean, really solid wood. I don't, I don't know what it was. I don't know what happened to it. Yeah, I could probably waste my time gluing all this back together and making it something. I didn't. I just, I just built a, I built a parts caster is what I did. Um, 
as you can see it's just really dry love this guitar we had a lot of good memories with this guitar had a lot of good times with this guitar but that's what happened maybe it was just with mine so if you guys had any problems with the infinity series let me know because that right there um, is pretty crazy that's a that's a big hole that's a really big hole so yeah that was the that was the best guitar of 2018 in my opinion and yes I could have picked a brand guitar like Fender or go after an Epiphone or a Gibson or uh, whatever this this budget brand over here uh, Harley Benton I could have went with those but I'm telling you this Firefly guitar is the the best bang for your buck even in 2019 I, I encourage you to go to buy one right and if they make the other guitars go buy one because I don't know how long they'll be on the market for you don't never know it seems like these kit guitar or these these budget guitars like those that are built really good, they don't stay in business very long. Uh, even the Bad Cat guitars or the, uh, I forget what they were called, the Shenzhen guitars, they went out of business, I'm pretty sure. I don't think he does that. I think he got in trouble or, or something happened. I, I don't know the full story. But uh, pick them up while you can. You never know. They might not stay in business long. Um, for that, that price and the quality that you get, pick one up. So the last thing we're going to be talking about is where to buy kit guitars and why I recommend this place. I recommend thefretwire.com. And a lot of people say, why do you recommend thefretwire.com when you can go to Solo Music Gear and it's sealed for you and everything. And all you do is got to sand it down and just do the top and then the back's already sealed for you and all this stuff. I don't like guitars that come to me sealed um, because I, I like staining my guitars. I like having like... A raw tone oil finish or lacquer finish um, and I like my guitars very porous and if I want to seal it I'll seal it myself but a lot of times I just stain it and then do the top and then oil finish it or shellac it or whatever and uh, because shellac if you use shellac on the back and in the front 50 50 with alcohol you can rub it on there and keep this I mean, it's like wet it on there and it will soak in that wood and it will actually seal it after it cures, after it dries, and you can lacquer over it. Uh, I, the solo music gear is a little high, uh, shipping time is a little slow. I like the fret wire, I've always ordered from them, and they just seem like they have better customer service. So, if you're looking for a kit guitar, get on the fretwire.com. Um, but this is the Guitar Buzz Chalk Show. And if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little notification bell so you know each and every time I upload a video so you don't miss one. I'm Ronald Jr., and I'll see you guys next time.